guys, welcome to my white polka dotted fabric! No, I'm just kidding. I have a haul for you, I swear. So, um, I went to Sedia today and I got a few things for crafting. So, I'll get started so you don't have to look at the polka dotted background. Here is the chocolate characters type, is what it says. But it's a mold. I don't know how new this is, but it was my first time seeing it. And yes, I do have the Patico alphabet mold, but I don't know if you can tell, this one's much thinner. So I'm thinking it will be cool to make some letters. I want to try making letters and then putting them in resin. Resin in resin, resin inception. So yes, I got that. And of course it was only 100 yen, because it's 100 yen store. And then I got this silicone stamp. I forgot to get the stamper thing, but I just want to use this with clay and maybe shrink plastic. So I think I'm going to be okay without... Um, the stamper thingy, but it's, let's see, can I show you the design? It's like, it's supposed to be leaves, leaves it says, but it's kind of like squigglies. I'm hoping that the detail's going to turn out okay, but, I mean, it's only a dollar, so you can't complain. From Sedia's Sweets Deco line, I got a packet of sugar powder, and this is basically just, like, craft sand, but I was out, and I want to make some things using it, so I picked up another bag. I then picked up these two biscuit stamp sets, and these are not for myself, they're for a friend, but um, I think they're really cool. They come with little like text stamps, and it says good luck and biscuit, and this one says sweet, thanks. Yeah, it's cool because it you know gives it texture, it does like the dots and the lines and stuff, so yeah, I don't really make full size stuff anymore, but my friend does, and he was asking for these, so I found them at Zedia, yay! They had a whole display of Valentine's stuff out and so many different masking tapes, but you know, I have a whole box full of them and I just don't use them enough. So, I got this one and let's see, can I show you the design? Focus for me, camera! There we go. It. I just thought it was really cute, so I picked up this one. I had a lot of cute ones, but I'm trying not to hoard so much this year, so I just got one. I did get two from the Disney line, though. This is a Mickey Mouse one. Oh! I thought the pink one was just a different color, it's Minnie Mouse. Now I have to go back and get the Minnie Mouse one. But I got the blue Mickey Mouse one, that's the design. And then I got this brown one and that's the design. I thought it was kind of really cute. Kind of really cute. <laughs> Which is it. So I got that one. And they um, have started packaging the Disney ones really nicely, so that's cool. Not very interesting, but I got 850 toothpicks. You know, crafters need toothpicks and baby wipes. I got some more of the deco parts or cream cases, I guess they're called clear cases, and they used to be like three different colors in a pack, but now I guess they're doing three of the same color in a pack, so I don't know. But I got these, they were almost out of the blue ones, so, and they moved the display, so I was uh, freaking out. I'm like, oh no, they're gone, and I didn't stock up when I could, but they had them, so yay! I love making these for like making little UV cases, UV cases, UV resin cases. Yes, I'll stop talking. I got them in a bigger size too, and these are really nice for decoing as well. They actually didn't have like the big deep ones, but I even, I haven't used the ones that I got, so I guess they weren't maybe as popular. And then this is actually pretty exciting. I guess Sedia has their own line of UV resin now, and they have a soft type and a hard type. So, um, it's only four grams. Geiso's was five grams, but it comes in this cute little UV bottle, not a tube. So, I will compare the Daiso one and the Sedia one, and of course the soft one. I'll do a testing video and see how I like them. Here's an overview of what I got. Oh, I also got um, foil and I'll use that for like baking stuff and texturing. And I also got cooking paper, baking paper, whatever you want to call it. So, tools you know all crafters need. I restocked a bit and I got some pretty cool stuff. So, I know, I know, lots of hauls lately, not enough crafting, but I have been crafting. I'm just kind of waiting to make enough stuff so I can make an update video. So, yeah, I will be showing you the stuff that I've been working on lately. Let me know what you liked from this haul. It's all, well, except for the cooking paper stuff, is from Sedia, the 100 yen store here in Japan. And everything was 100 yen. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye!